Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a little project. I was asked in the in the comments of a previous video if a Lenovo X3650 Model 2 if that would run server 2016 from Microsoft and of course it um, haven't really tried that so today I just thought that we would try that because I didn't exactly know what to reply to that comment because I hadn't tried it there might be an issue so we're gonna try that uh, I have um, powered on an old server over here that I haven't had on for quite a while it was actually complaining about having no hard drives but just to start it off easy I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be doing a bit of firmware upgrading uh, so that it um, it kind of had the newest firmware so for that I have a USB stick here that I've made that will firmware upgrade uh, Lenovo X3650 model 2 and model 3 so I'll see if I can get that up and running it has probably been a couple of years since I firmware upgraded them last not sure there is any new firmware but well it, it's worth to have a look I can see that I have had uh, pox marks on this one um, so we are probably going to be messing that up so um, getting access to the USB stick over here I'm guessing that that might be USB storage that we have to boot off yeah that seems to be working okay I'll um, this takes a while so let's come back when it's when it's good okay that didn't really work that well for me I tried it twice and it, um, it did that both times so now I've been using most of an hour making a new USB stick uh, well putting the data on the same USB stick but um, we're gonna try it again with a new Lenovo X Clarity Essential pack uh, same servers okay looks very similar I got a new date that's today the 4th of August 2018 so let's update same servers let's see what happens not a lot so I went into the computer instead of using USB sticks I attached to the computer through the remote management the IMM that is on the server uh, and I mounted an ISO I tried with this one this is a rather old one that one is from 2014 so at least uh, if we see over here um, the, the version that is in the image ISO file is version 1.19 and the one on the machine is 1.20 so the firmware on the server is at least beyond 2014 so I'm gonna power this off and I'm gonna mount an ISO file that is just a little bit newer I tried with this ISO file which is from 2017 that didn't work so I'm gonna try this one from 2016 see if where we are with that okay so right now it's just being very much not cooperating with me but let's go directly to the Windows install the firmware on it is apparently from 2016 isn't that bad so um, Windows 10 um, we need to put a drive in it I forgot about that uh, we need to put in a boot drive wonder what we can come up with okay fixed one terabyte Samsung um, Pro drive uh, we're gonna put it in here there and we need to go and configure that in some kind of array um, it's it's just gonna be a single drive but um, okay so we are on our way in to configure the IBM server rate and this is the MR10i controller that is in here I have connected my Lenovo mouse here uh, to the server because my KVM switch doesn't work perfectly when um, when I'm working with this so next and it sees our drive it's unconfigured good good we'll go to the configuration wizard just add a new configuration there next 
and as there is nothing on it and there is no other drives in the system I think it will be fine to just go with an automatic configuration and go next 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 on that Oh, it did not like my auto configuration. So let's try auto configuration without redundancy. No redundancy. Next. Yeah, it liked that a lot better. It uh, couldn't figure out that I wanted redundancy, but there was only one drive. Mm. So I'm just initializing the drive so that we will have something to install our operating system on okay it should be good we should have we have our physical drive here and of that physical drive we have made a virtual drive and on top of that we have a drive group and it's a RAID 0 so everything is good we should be able to go out and start our operating system and we have to press F15 to um, to go and boot from the from the USB storage thing. And it starts the Windows installation. Let's see how far that okay. goes. So far, so good. Um, it want to know what language to install. We have English. That's a lot of choices. Uh, time and I would like Danish. So let's see, Danish. Hit it. And keyboard as well. Uh, it isn't a Danish keyboard though. But well, never mind. I really should get a Danish keyboard. Hmm. So next install now yes that was the general idea it should come and tell us what drives we have available for installing uh, maybe we have to, uh, have to select the version first so this is the evaluation version i just downloaded this from microsoft's um, evaluation site so we're just going to be evaluating and we have 180 days to do that so we have the standard or we have their data center version so standard desktop experience thank you next and we have the to agree to the firms we don't have anything to upgrade from so we are doing a custom installation it has found our ssd awesome next and it will be installing Let's see if this doesn't work just out of the box. Okay, I've been outside doing other things. Uh, I came in to check on this install and it's already booting. I am curious to see if, it, uh, if it's completed or if it's just messed up. Okay, it seems to be booting Windows. So I guess I can remove my old USB stick again. Server 2016 takes up a bit more data than my normal ESXi, so this is an 8 gigabyte USB stick. Normal ones are about 4 gigabytes, uh, and they're it's not really needed to be 4 gigabytes, but well. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. It wants an administrator password. We'll give it something. Okay, finish. Finish. Finalizing your setup. Okay, and it wants the password. Uh -huh. So it installed Server 2016 just fine, and it even comes and tells me that I have a network. So apparently, network drivers are also available. And I have 180 days left on my evaluation on this server. Awesome. So let's go in here and check computer management. And 
the vice device the vice manager uh, one um, it's it looks pretty good in here it doesn't look like it's missing anything let's see it has a rate controller it has a display it has a hard drive see the rate controller in there let's see the network uh, where is the network yeah network adapters it sees the network adapters just find the built-in network adapters there is nothing special with this server so yeah it runs server 2016 just fine so after trying to um, firmware update this for at least a couple of hours trying to make different ISOs and USB bootable things for it well the installation of Windows Server 2016 took 15 minutes and it even seems like I wouldn't have to do anything with drivers and stuff it might be a good idea to go and find the, the to find the real driver for it but a lot of these generic drivers would do the server just fine and often be more stable than the real ones so um, when do you want a firmware update a server like this well a lot of people would say that you have to firmware update every time there's a new firmware patch you put it on um, I would disagree with that I don't think you should firmware update a server when it's running and doing good if you have to take it out of production just to put on another firmware and it doesn't have an issue of any kind well it's just a waste of time every time you reinstall a server or do something drastic to it it's okay to go and firmware update it um, like I tried here I wanted to put another operating system on it well then a firmware update would be okay and could also make a lot of stuff easier but that said that might be why I'm having trouble firmware updating the servers because I've gotten too far behind I don't know 2016 might be so uh, the awesomely noble x3650 model 2 runs server 2016 just fine right out of the box no driver issues whatsoever even since the network card so if the network driver is usually the most irritating one because to go get the other drivers you need the network driver so yeah it just works so thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye